when John died, it was so difficult. It was difficult for everyone in the world because he was such a loved character and such a crazy guy, you know, that he was so special. And so it had hit me so much so that I couldn't really talk about it. And I remember getting home from the studio on the day that we'd heard the news he died and turning the TV on and seeing people say, well, John Lennon was this, and what he was was this. And I remember meeting him then, da, 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 and it was like, I don't know, I can't be one of those people. I can't just go on TV and say what John meant to me. It was just too deep. It's just too much. I couldn't put it into words. So um, a while later, once the emotions had sort of settled a little bit, I was in a building that would become my recording studio, and there were just a couple of little empty rooms upstairs. So I found a room and just sat on the wooden floor in a corner with my guitar and just started to play the opening chords to Here Today. The night we cried, that was to do with a time when we were in uh, Key West, down in Florida. And for some reason, I think it was like a hurricane, something had been delayed and we couldn't play for a couple of days. So we holed up in a little motel. So what would we do? Well, we'd have a drink and we would get drunk. <laughs> we didn't have to play. So we did that night, we got, we got drunk and uh, started to get kind of emotional. You know, oh, you were great when you, I love that. You know, we started, it all came out, you know. But on the way to that, there was a lot of soul searching. And, you know, we told each other a few truths. You know, well, I, I love you. I love you, man. Oh, I love that you said that. I love it. And we opened up. So um, that was kind of special to me. I think that was really one of the only times that ever happened.